Hey bakers, John Canal from Prepy Kitchen here. Today we're making this decadent chocolate lava cake. It is so easy, comes together in less than 20 minutes, and I mean, this is a chocolate lover's dream. Let's get started. First off, let's prep our little ramekins or custard dishes. All I have to do is just wipe them with butter on the inside. Wipe, wipe, wipe. I already wiped these, why am I doing it again? <laughs> this one was fresh and clean for you. Okay, so just butter the inside. You want these to release you don't want them to stick. If they stick, all that lava is gonna come pouring out. What was the point? That's not romantic. All right, last one. I have one big one. I wanna test and see what it's like. These are super rich, so the portion size is smaller than you might expect. Okay, now just tap in a little bit of flour, a tablespoon, kick it around, just as though you were buttering and flouring a cake pan, and then tap the excess out, and continue the process. Now that our ramekins are prepared, we can melt our chocolate and butter. I have six ounces of a nice bittersweet chocolate. That's about a cup, or if you're measuring it in grams, it's about 188. One stick of unsalted butter at room temperature, plopped right in there. So elegant, I could be in the ballet. All right, now we're gonna microwave this in a couple bursts and the butter will melt first and we'll warm that up and then we'll just whisk it up. While that's in the microwave, let's get two eggs and two egg yolks and a whole lot of shell. <laughs> Hello. I hate how some eggs are like full of membranes so you can't pry them apart, while other eggs just fall apart in an instant. It's one of my pet peeves. One egg yolk and two egg yolks. Set those whites aside, you can make a meringue later. Maybe some macaron. Our butter has melted and... Mm, I don't wanna burn the chocolate. Let's just put that there. I'm adding half a teaspoon of instant espresso in here. It's totally optional, but as you might know, a little bit of coffee brings out a lot of chocolate flavor. All right, let's give this a whisk and see where we're at. I love the way a chocolate ganache comes together. It goes from being black to just gorgeous, silky, amazing. Okay, this chocolate's all nice and melty. Very beautiful. Let's deal with the eggs now. I have my two eggs and two yolks in here. I'm adding in like mm, maybe almost half a teaspoon of salt. I like my chocolate to be very salty, so if you wanna have less, a pinch is fine. We're gonna whisk this up, and I'm gonna do it by hand because I need the exercise. Okay, that was easy. But now we're gonna add a quarter cup of sugar in and really whisk it up so that it's nice and like a lemony yellow color. Oof. Man, I should've used the machine. <laughs> You know what? We can use the machine. I tried to be a big shot. Didn't work. Now. Yeah, that was not gonna work by hand. What was I thinking? We have this nice, beautiful, light lemon colored mixture. It's time to fold in our silky chocolate. Flourless chocolate cakes are just, you know, chocolate and egg <laughs> and butter basically held together with the smallest amount of flour possible. Let's fold that in. And now for the flour. I'm gonna use about two tablespoons, maybe two and a half and mix. Sprinkle it in, and mix. <laughs> so now our batter is all done. You can see it is like a very rich, silky chocolate batter. Tastes amazing, like so much chocolate. Let's pour the batter into our prepared dishes. Put that on the side. Try and be neat, although it's not so easy, I tell ya. If you have a secret hint for pouring batter, like this, let me know in the comments. You're gonna bake these at 450. <laughs> You're gonna make these at 450 for about eight to 12 minutes, but it really depends on your ramekin size. If you're using small ramekins, you might wanna bake for like seven minutes, six minutes. It really depends on how much batter is in there. I would do a test batch first. 
Let your cakes cool for just a minute in the ramekin and then place a plate over it. Invert onto the plate. Be careful, it's very hot. Remove the ramekin, give it a light dusting of powdered sugar. You could do anything you want, even put ice cream directly on top. I'm adding a scoop just to the side. Garnish with a strawberry if desired and enjoy. All right, let's take a bite. Oh my God. It's like made out of chocolate dream clouds. It's close to a chocolate souffle because there's almost no flour in there. A lot of like airy lightness, but it's pure rich chocolate inside. It's beyond, oh my gosh. Hmm. All right, if you like this video, why not check out my German chocolate cake? It is so delicious. It takes longer, I'm not gonna lie, but it feeds a huge number of people and it's a special occasion. And for something totally different, how about my cake decorating video? It's already over a million views as I say this and it is really entertaining to watch, check it out. If you like my videos, hit that like button and subscribe.